Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're at the dollar store looking at their Christmas decor. My Halloween videos are coming out a little later on, but I wanted to get a head start on Christmas, just give you an idea of what's out there, especially if you live here in Sweden. Uh, in Barkaby, we have a dollar store. Uh, it's not very, very far from the city. So I wanted to take you there and show you what that was for Christmas. The first thing that caught my eye were the plates with the gnomes were really pretty. They were 10 crowns each and they had the matching snap gloss. Now these snap glosses were really cute, especially because we like to have snap during Christmas and summer months here. If you're looking for some festive snap glasses, the dollar store is the place to hit. Now, the dollar store is also a great place to pick up your nutcrackers, especially if you're living here in Sweden. I don't know, but some of the other stores, the nutcrackers are so expensive, and the dollar store ones, the medium sized ones were 90 crowns, it's unbelievable, and 550 for the really large ones. Now they were so beautiful, I absolutely love these sort of red and blue um, colored ones, so that's really something you could pick up at the dollar store here in Sweden. Gnomes in Sweden for Christmas are a big thing, and these beige ones were really pretty, very neutral, they were 50 crowns, uh, really lovely. And then I find that you find it in the gray as well as the dark olive green. So if you go neutral for Christmas and that's your aesthetic, these gnomes would really, really fit into your theme. Now, if you wanted to have a traditional gnome, this one was really cute. It was 70 crowns. It had a knitted hat and a little heart at the end of it. I absolutely love these small gnomes. The bigger gnomes are not really my favorite. I just think they look a little bit naff, but these smaller ones, you can add them into your home all over the place. They look really, really cute. Now, very neutral one, but still keeping with these sort of um, Scandinavian theme was this one. The hat is a very traditional Scandinavian design. It was gray and white, really cute. And then you also had this very neutral gray one as well. You could buy a few of them, had them together, group them together, put them in your home. You could go traditional. And like this picture, you can add it at the top of your Christmas tree as a Christmas topper. So the options with these gnomes are absolutely endless. You can have them on your table or kitchen anywhere you like. The next thing you ought to pick up at the dollar store are picks. Now these picks caught my eye. I think I'm gonna go back and buy a few of them to add into my Christmas tree this year. I like it when they're short, uh, but if you're looking for longer, more lush um, twigs, then this is where you would come to their dried floral section or their plastic floral section, four section, if you will. Um, these ones really caught my eye. They were really pretty, very dainty. If you had a white Christmas tree and that was the look you were gonna go for, sort of winter wandery land uh, sort of vibe, these picks would really work well. Now, if you're living in Sweden, a tip, if you want these cotton twigs, you need to buy them at the dollar store because I'm telling you at Plant Ocean, they're like double the price. So 60 crowns for these, although they have gone up in price compared to last year and the year before last, they are still a good price when you compare for the rest of Sweden. So 60 crowns there for those cotton twigs, definitely something you wanna pick up. Now these ones, they had the gold and the silver, in person, they looked too shiny. On the camera, actually now, it doesn't look too bad close up, but when I was there, it looked too shiny, so I would stay away from that. But these cotton ones, I'm saying it again, definitely worth the buy. Now, these rings were also really worth it. There were 60 crowns and you got three of them. Um, and it's also, as you can see, it's got a loop there at the top, uh, so you can do your own DIY wreaths. They look really beautiful, even on their own. So something you could really pick up and really create some lovely, lovely pieces. They had a black one, as you can see next to it, but that one cost, I think, 60 crowns just for the black um, frame. So that was expensive, I thought. Oh, well, not 60, 30 crowns, um, but for just double the price, you got three different types, uh, sizes in the gold. Now this wreath was 140 to have this last year. I thought it was so pretty, really lovely. It's got very subdued colors. It really is something that I gravitate to. Um, not my aesthetic this year for Christmas, but nevertheless, something you could pick up if you were in the market for a wreath. Now our advent lights here in Sweden, they are very popular. These ones for 90 crowns are a steal. Now they are the basic advent lights that you get uh, all over here in Sweden, but they are so beautiful in the night. They give off such a warm, lovely glow and you don't need to spend a lot of money. Those work just as well. 
But for those of us who live here in Sweden and been having these for years and want to change, the dollar store did also offer some of these ones. This was 340 crowns. They were quite large. Uh, in my opinion, I wouldn't pay that price. I would definitely go for these ones uh, for 90 crowns. But I'm going to show you a few more a little later on in the video. So stay tuned. Uh, these garlands for 250 I thought were really pretty on the box as you can see it's got a very warm light uh, something that I gravitate to um, I am not sure I'm gonna buy it and I haven't uh, used them so I don't know if that's the case but those lights absolutely look lovely in the picture now this caught my eye and I really wanted to see into the box so if anybody's watching from the dollar store you're going to be angry with me but I opened the box just to give you an idea as you can see it didn't look as beautiful um, in the box as it did on the picture but I'm sure when it lights up it probably gives you a different aesthetic in the night but during the day it might look a little bit cheap that's just my opinion then they have these smaller ones and then they also had the advent lights with the um, gingerbread houses on them so a lot of options to choose from and then I found these. Now these candles are something that I use every single year on my tree. They give off such a beautiful glow and I didn't buy them here in uh, at the dollar store but they do have them here for 160 crowns. I wanted to see how many you got so eventually when I looked at the back of the package it said that you got 10 of these lights. Now you're going to have to buy a few. So they weren't cheap but definitely worth the investment if you follow along don't forget to subscribe to my channel i show you how i use them on my christmas tree because in sweden you used to have real candles on your christmas tree uh, in days gone by uh, we don't do that anymore we have these instead and they're really really worth now this is another type of advent light this is the curved one this is 150 it came in white and gray and these are the bulbs that you want to make sure that you buy because if they go out it's like a chain of lights if one goes out all of them go out and um, this was the scandinavian starlight that we have uh, so they had one of the starlights that you could have on a candle on a stand um, it was 50 crowns now when you pay 50 crowns you're paying only for the star you're not paying for the stand but you could just easily use a light that you have at home uh, just take off your shade and add this instead these ones were for hanging they were these smaller ones they were 40 crowns really inexpensive uh, allows you to change them up every year if you wanted to like i do 50 crowns for the middle ones and then the bigger ones were 80 crowns so really not very expensive at all but if this is your first time buying them you want to buy the cord that goes with it once you buy, buy this then you can just add in different colored stars uh, and just buy the stars but you do need the light um, if you're going to use them these were 240 crowns and they were also really pretty they were sort of a modern take on the um, advent lights and then they had this one as well uh, so they had this in great this was 290 so it really had a, a, a wide range of price uh, for you uh, if you were looking to buy some advent lights at the dollar store now i wanted to go on to christmas baubles and just decorations these ones caught my eye they were 90 crowns and you got quite a few in them i forgot to check how many but uh, it was quite a number now these ones were also really beautiful they sort of had this marble gold effect i have so many at home i probably wouldn't need to buy any more but they were very very pretty they had it in a gold and white and then they had these if you are into the sort of metallic christmas decor and sort of pinks these were really pretty they were 60 crowns i think if i'm not mistaken um and you got obviously six of the baubles then they had the silver one as well and then if you were looking to do a candy cane themed they had these ones uh, as well as some more traditional um, baubles as well these were 70 crowns the box in itself was really beautiful you could buy them use the baubles and then use the box as a gift box as well so really 
uh, a number of options to choose from and then they had their larger bundles of just generic bo uh, baubles now these ones were the candy canes if you wanted to uh, combine them with the ones i showed you before they were 30 crowns so they were also really inexpensive and then like i said they also had the other baubles now if you were looking for storage this was 70 crowns really inexpensive i thought a uh, great way to store your baubles just because they're quite uh, delicate and they do tend to break so these were a good generic pack to pick up uh, if you were looking to have red and silver in your Christmas tree these were 30 crowns there were three of them and they're made from sort of paper um, they were really pretty they had this sort of very old world charm to them so if it's something that you want to incorporate into your Christmas tree you could pick them up at the dollar store but those ones I think you could really do a DIY at home if you got the paper correct um, to the style that you're trying to do these were 30 crowns they're also really cute add on top of a cake for Christmas or add into a tablescape if you were doing one with some houses and you want some trees they were really nice um, thing to buy quite inexpensive and the dollar store really does a good job on ribbon so in my opinion if you wanted the ribbon for your Christmas tree or your presents head on over to the dollar store first and see what you can find obviously if you're in the States you're probably going to go to Dollar Tree I know you get it a lot cheaper there but for us who don't have Dollar Tree in the uh, in Sweden uh, we like to head on I would re recommend heading on over to the dollar store because at places like Panduro and all these sort of craft places that we have here in Sweden you're going to be paying a lot more this came in a pack of three they had green and red and they also upped their game when it comes to uh, wrapping paper and packaging now this was 20 crowns for these three boxes and really really inexpensive you've got these I thought was so cute they are for wine and whis whiskey or whatever it is you're giving um, so they were really lovely 10 crowns for two of them it was just a steal I thought I have really a little idea with them a little DIY that I'm gonna do so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and stick around for my Christmas videos so these were coming home with me and then I wanted to look at a few of their tags these ones with this sort of sage green for 20 crowns were also really pretty uh, and then they also had some very traditional ones as well so really head on over to the dollar store if you're looking to buy some wrapping paper gift boxes uh, and tags as well they really had a, a lot to choose from and I thought were lovely now if you want to do your own DIY advent can calendar at home this was 40 crowns it had um, a house for each of the days I'm going to be doing that as well so stay tuned for that video coming up soon uh, but this bag was 80 crowns uh, a jute bag if you wanted to have to add in all your gifts or even just to stuff it and put it under your Christmas tree as a sort of decor piece that would work as well really really nicely so I went through the shop looking at a few other pieces but I hope this video has helped giving you some idea of what you can buy here at the dollar store those of you in the States watching think it's just fun to see what we can have here and what you have here there please leave me a comment in the description box below let me know if most of these things you find at the dollar store in the States so if anybody actually goes to the dollar store there anymore or whether you all just go to the Dollar Tree because it is a lot cheaper but this is going to be it for me from this video I hope you've enjoyed following along with me to Barkaby in Sweden and I will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next week bye bye